What's up guys? Welcome back to PC Weekly News for March 10th, 2022. We got a few interesting things to take a look at this week, including your GFN news update. So let's get started. First off, we have Intel's ARC GPUs, something I've definitely been anticipating for a while, but these have been pushed back just a little bit to a May or June release, as it would appear here. And as news of the RTX 40 series and RX 6000 series continue to make their rounds, it's not that surprising that Intel would want to take the time to make sure these GPUs are ready. They've got a lot riding on this release, and they really need this to work out, and I'd love to see some good competition in the GPU space. Moving on, we've got Gotham Knights, which is finally releasing in October. This was actually delayed last year, March 2021, when they announced the game would be delayed to make it a better experience for players. So October 25th, 2022 is when we can expect to finally be able to get hands on with Gotham Knights. Hopefully the delay will give us a well done game when it comes out later this year. And moving on, we've got some Skull and Bones news to talk about. Finally, Ubisoft is looking for Skull and Bones testers. Now, it's been about five years since Ubisoft announced this multiplayer pirate game, and it's been delayed over and over again. And I've been waiting a long time to check it out. You can see here they are kicking off their insider program, a unique opportunity for a selected few to test early versions of Skull and Bones and share their feedback. I'll definitely be trying to get into that, because like I said, this is a game I've really been looking forward to um, ever since playing games like Black Flag, I've really been looking forward to a good pirate ship game and I hope they pull it off with this. So we'll see what happens. All right, so moving on over to Lost Ark, and worth talking about, they have 20 million players globally. Lost Ark is doing really well, and over 10 million of those players for Lost Ark are North America, Europe, South America, and Australia. So Lost Ark, an Amazon Games game, continues to be doing really well, and it hit like 1.3 million concurrent players in its first week or two, and when it went free to play. So really well done for Lost Ark. Now let's go ahead and get moved over to our GeForce Now news for this week. And before we get into the six games, I'm happy to be able to announce there is now a monthly membership option. So it makes it a little bit easier for some people to get in with that month. one month option being $19.99 USD. So if that's something you've been waiting for, I know a lot of you have commented to me that you wanted a monthly membership. Now's the time for you to jump in. So now let's take a look at those games. The first of our six games for this week is a day and date release for Steam March 7th, 2022, and that's Buccaneers. Become a fearless captain in Buccaneers, a classic pirate RPG game. Find legendary treasures, battle powerful ships, change the course of history, and join one of the unique factions to conquer an ever-changing Caribbean sea. And next up for this week is another Steam Day and Date release for March 10th, 2022, and that's Distant Worlds 2. And this is a pausable, real-time, 4x space strategy game. Experience the full depth and detail of turn-based strategy, but with the simplicity and ease of real-time. And on the scale of a massively multiplayer online game, the universe is yours. Our third game for this week is another Day and Date release for Steam, March 9th, 2022, and this is... Iron Smith Medieval Simulator. Heroes are not born, they are forged in darkness, and who knows forging better than the Iron Smith himself. Experience the hardship of making medieval weapons, armors, and tools in a simulation taken with a grain of salt. Next up for this week is another Steam release, originally December 4th, 2019, and that's Bus Driver Simulator. Complete journeys around the city and its suburbs, strictly following the schedule. Earn money by successfully delivering passengers and following the traffic laws. Complete various scenarios and preset conditions or build your own career in free mode. Next up we have Martha is Dead, which was a February 24th, 2022 release. Martha is Dead is a dark first-person psychological thriller set in 1944 Italy. It blurs the lines between reality, superstition, and the tragedy of war. And the final game for this week is Survival Quiz City, originally released March 4th, 2022 for Steam. Survival Quiz City is a multiplayer survival quiz battle royale game where only your smarts and your skills will help you survive. Players answer questions and divide into two groups, winners with correct answers and losers with incorrect answers. Fight to win each round and survive to become the winner. That'll do it for our PC Weekly News this week, including your weekly GeForce Now News update every single Thursday. I can't wait to see what Intel does with their GPUs when we finally get hands-on with those, and I'm still really anticipating Skull and Bones from Ubisoft. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you haven't already, give a like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when new videos come out. Thanks a lot for coming to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.